my name is John Belchiard. I am a third year film student. In film, I normally prefer to take the role of director. Uh, I also don't mind doing DOP and working alone and basically doing a bit of everything. I don't know. I think that it was never a one filmmaker question. There is never what was the one film. I feel like it was a whole period of my childhood, early teenagehood, uh, teenage years that that period of time where I was consuming a lot of films and I was those I find myself ret coming back to. So there are certain titles and certain films that I I owe a lot because I, I saw them and they impacted me in that period. So we can talk about Robert Zemeckis with Forrest Gump. We can talk uh, Sergio Leone with the Dolly's Trilogy and Once Upon a Time in the West. Um, we can talk about Christopher Nolan and uh, a bit of everything that, that he worked on, uh, but especially Interstellar. We can talk about Bricks of Being a Wallflower uh, from Steven Spivsky. How can I forget? Uh, Hitchcock. The Rope was probably one of the, those films that I saw and I was like, okay, this is what I want to do, you know? Like, mm -hmm. this is not just pointing a camera and say, roll. There's actually something here uh, mm -hmm. that I want to explore. These are films I owe, owe everything in terms of my love and passion for films and maybe i'm a filmmaker now because of the, the these people and these uh works of art but then aesthetically i feel like i haven't figured out who i am yet mm -hmm. uh what's my language my visual language so i feel like this comes with each film has new inspirations and um yeah, and it has a different visual language to them. So the last project I did was an experimental film called Tuesday. Uh, it was a film about memory and the involuntary memory chains that our brain goes through normally on the day to day. And I used super eight millimeter and eight millimeter found footage films, as well as a collection of, post of old postcards to tell a narrative. So I originally found the postcard collection. Uh, it was around 90 postcards that followed the same lady, Valerie Anderson. So it was postcards either to her or from her uh, during a span of 30 years, more or less. So I bought those in an antique shop once and I kept on coming back to them and I didn't really know what to do with them until I I met with Hannah, with whom I did the film, and I showed her this and I, okay, this is literally what we want to do. We know that this has to be incorporated in the film. And then we just uh, tried to match the vibe of the postcards visually. Um, and we thought that found footage also spanning from the 60s to the 90s, like the postcards could potentially match that that feeling, that nostalgic feeling that we wanted. Do you want me to go very personal here or do you want me to yeah, sure. then you no. take care of whatever you want yeah. out of it? Mm -hmm. I think that my personal story in a way uh, yeeved through the film mm -hmm. uh, and make it made it way in the end. My great grandmother shared dementia, so the the whole question about memory and how memory works and trying to to understand memory better is something that tends to to come uh, to my work often. And Think Tuesday was a way of exploring it better because of since it's an experimental film and it doesn't ha have to have such a clear uh, clear cut structure. I think I could explore some interesting connections and actually understand how she might have felt sometimes mm -hmm. visually. Yeah, so again, I feel like it wasn't necessarily a conscious choice. Uh, I feel like those things marked me as a kid and it just finds a way of coming and re of returning to my work. The Hugs is the story of 
an imaginary friend who's going to be forgotten by his imaginary child, imagining child. So I think it's it's a film about an imaginary friend dealing with the end of its existence, but it's also a film about dealing with being forgotten and how that feels and how can you still be there even if the people who you are there for don't remember who you, who you are. And how does that invalidate what you went through or not? I personally think it doesn't, but um, it's, it's an attempt to pose uh, questions of this nature. Oh, I don't know. They are, as you say, they are very, very different processes. So The Hugs is a more traditional film in the way that I have to plan out a story and a narrative from the beginning. I write the script, I do storyboards, I do all the pre-production, I go on set, I film the, f I film, the film. Mm -hmm. uh, I go to post-production and do all the editing. Uh, so it's a, a, a film with three clear-cut stages. Tuesday, on the other hand, was a film of, okay... I don't know what's going to come out of this today. I don't know exactly. Let's sit down and watch six hours first of, of found footage. Then let's watch them again, but filming them so I can use them later. Then mm. let's, the, the, when, whilst this is happening, pre-production is happening at the same time in my brain, right? I know certain images I want to use. Mm. Uh, I get familiarized with the film text that I'm using. And then I feel like only in post-production does the actual production and post-production come together. So it's only when I start editing that the two processes come along. But the main, main difference is that I didn't go on set, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I, although for Tuesday I had the pleasure to work with three amazing musicians and with Hannah, I co-directed the film with Hannah, it was a very lonely process because Hannah was doing sound, I was doing the visuals. So our work, although we talked about it and although mm. we're always interacting, uh, we basically did it separately and then we joined them together. The same thing with the music. Uh, although we rehearsed together, I, I had to direct the musicians. In the end, they gave me a piece and I was working uh, alone. So I didn't go on set for Tuesday. And honestly, I really missed it. It was the one element of the production. I was like, oh, come on, just mm. give me like some people to interact. I want opinions. I want to, to direct. I want to, to have more hands-on hands job of facing challenges and problems and having to, f to deal with them and fix them in the moment mm. that I didn't have with Tuesday. Yeah, so I'm working right now in a new experimental film, more or less of the same nature as Tuesday, also found footage, um, but more personal. So if I think that what happened with Tuesday was that the connections to my personal history and to my memory and to memory and the questions regarding memory were not necessarily thought of from the first moment, and I wasn't tackling them, this one is a film that I am, I have the intention of, uh, tackling these questions from the get-go. Mm. And then it's a film that, whilst this was films with strangers, and now I'm using found footage of my own family, of family members that I didn't have the chance to meet, of family members that I meet, met, but they're not here anymore. It's going to be a, an interesting process as well, but it's mm. closer to Tuesday for sure.